What's going on, everybody? Average Arcader here, and it's time for another quick review. Today, we're going to be reviewing Busted by Sharpscape. Busted is a very unique Minecraft add-on, mainly because it's three types of games mixed into one. Puzzle, stealth, and a little bit of platforming. They're all merged perfectly onto a beautiful custom-made map. And as you can clearly see, this is no mere texture pack. The house that all this takes place in is full of custom-made furniture and decorations that you can either interact with or are simply there to help set the mood. Sharpscape is one of my favorite studios when it comes to this because they go that extra mile to add that realism to their maps by adding all the fine little details. For that, they should definitely be committed. So what do you do in Busted? Well, in the game, your goal is to get your video games back. You've been grounded by your parents, so they've hid the video games somewhere in the house. So, as you search, you have to solve puzzles and avoid your parents. The more puzzles that you solve, the more the house is opened up to you. But be careful, because this also means more times to run into your parents. And the puzzles, they're really fun. They give you just enough challenge that you feel really good when you figure them out. You get that aha moment but they're not too challenging to the point where you don't want to finish the game because you're so frustrated. For the most part, if you pay attention to what you have and your surroundings, you can pretty much figure out most of the puzzles in the game and have a good time. There are three difficulty settings for the game. Easy, medium, hard. I'm going to recommend that you go ahead and do hard, mainly because these don't change the difficulty of puzzles. No, they will stay the same no matter what difficulty. What it does is give you the ability to get hints or save at checkpoints. That's it. There's really nothing else that the difficulty does besides that. And this brings me to the biggest issue, well, really the only issue I have with this game, but it's a big one. It's missing a key feature for an add-on that costs money. What is it? Replayability. This game has zero replayability. The second you finish the game, you're done. There is no going back through because you know all the puzzles, you know where all the items are, it'll be easy to finish it. Unless you're trying to do a time run. Now, this wouldn't be bad if the game had a good amount of length, but it doesn't. Right now, you can finish the game around 20, 25 minutes, unless you're having a really hard time with the puzzles. You can beat it quicker than that if you use a shortcut that I discovered towards the end that allows you to skip a good chunk of the final puzzles. So with that, I have to say, Although it is a fun game, and I do like the puzzles and how they're set up, because of its length, I cannot recommend getting this game at full price. I would recommend waiting for it to be on sale if puzzle solving is your thing. That's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As you can see, I'm trying something different with my videos now. I hope you guys like it. Why don't you let me know down in the comment section if you did. But if you want to see more detailed reviews on maps and add-ons for the marketplace, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification button. Also, why don't you give my good friend the Magical Berry a check out? He does lots of detailed reviews on the maps on the marketplace just like I do. Only his are much longer and way more detailed. So if you're looking for more of that, 
make sure to go check out his channel. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description below or at the end card. All right, guys. Thanks again for watching. Average Arcader out.